We are here at Rochester Mini Maker Fair with Enable, and you are? I'm Skip Metz. I'm a retired engineer, and I'm volunteering in the Magic Act lab at RIT. And can you tell me about Enable? Yes. We make uh, prosthetic hands and arms for people around the world who need them. We make them with 3D printers, and we give them away for free. For free? How are you able to do that for free? Is it really expensive Volun to make these? No, no. It's uh, very inexpensive, and we're volunteers. And so the volunteers put in their time and their money for materials, and uh, we're helping people out that are underserved. We've got uh, things going on in third world countries around the world, Africa, Haiti, and uh, places. But we also find a lot of people in the U.S. and Europe who are underserved. Uh, people with uh, missing fingers that were born that way uh, can benefit from a wrist-powered hand now, how does this work? And so we've got a student out here who is using one of these, but uh, you strap it on your wrist and you put your palm into this little glove, and when you bend your wrist, it makes a fist. And the thing is, um, kids who need this are going to grow out of it. Right. in a year or two, just like their shoes. Oh, and right. So even in the U.S., they're kind of an underserved group of people. It's like a rare disease in a way. Right. So there's not anybody really helping them, but our volunteers. And so we found out that we can make these things with a 3D printer. And, uh, that's what we so, do. And so our, because you can do it inexpensively, yes, kids can get new ones as they grow, and their parents don't go broke trying to get prosthetics. Right. And... Um, at RIT, we're working with the students to make new designs. Um, we're making arms in addition to hands now, so people that are missing a part of an arm. You've probably seen people that wear a device like this. This has been in use. It's a hook type device. It's powered by a shoulder harness usually. Okay. And uh, that's the same design has been in use for 150 years. Because it works so well, but the biggest, biggest but the problem is it's kind of ugly. Yeah. And so we're trying to make things that look a little better. So that it, it looks like a real hand. Yes. And instead of the shoulder harness, we find that this design is very simple, and you can use your unaffected hand to put an object into the prosthesis. Right. And you can do two-handed tasks. So, with the, without even a shoulder harness, you can use this arm to put toothpaste on your toothbrush. As long as it can attach to that, it takes a little practice. I can attach anything I want and have a fairly quick, quick changeover. Oh. Or you can hold a fork. So. It's kind so, of, so, kind of so they're good for two-handed tasks. Too much right. Oh, what about this one? So, so this is really a life changer for people who need it. This is 